James, how did your throwing session go yesterday? Uh, it went well. I worked on some things, made some good progress. I uh, felt good about some pitches that I threw. Um, I think I was got about four or five ups and 65 pitches or so. You mentioned that you were working on some things. What exactly were you working on? Uh, well, my arm angle was a little low coming into camp, so I was working on getting that up just a little bit, getting on top of the ball a little better, and uh, we were able to do that yesterday, so that was good. Was there anyone in the batter's box, or was it just you throwing? Uh, Boone was in the batter's box. Did he make contact? Uh, he wasn't swinging. He was just uh, – they had someone – they were calling balls and strikes, and he was kind of working through the at-bats and stuff. Thank you. We can take our next question from Pete Caldera. Pete, go ahead and unmute. Hi, James. Hi. Hey, uh, I was just curious, uh, you know, with the amount of bullpen arms you guys have, the depth of your pitching, do you guys feel sort of uh, unique, have a unique advantage going into this uh, sort of uh, abbreviated season? Yeah, we feel really good about our group. You know, we have a lot of really good pitchers. Um, a lot of great bullpen arms, a lot of good starting arms. I think we're set up really well to uh, to take this season on. Brendan Cuddy, go ahead and unmute. You have the next question. James, thanks for taking the time. I wanted to know what you thought when you saw that Buster Posey opted out yesterday, uh, what your thoughts were, and if you think we might continue to see more of this happen? Uh, you know, we may. I think guys are gauging the situation day by day. I think it, I read for him, you know, he's got, I believe, uh, twin babies that have just come into the world. And, uh, you know, that's good stuff like that's going to be part of that gauge, you know, and I think he just wants to be as safe as possible with his uh, two young children. But everyone's going to make their own decision and when it comes to that. And also, at, we're a week into this now. How do you gauge? The, the safety protocols, the testing you've gone through, better than you expected, worse than you expected. How do you gauge it? Um, I think it's gone really well. You know, I only have the experience up here at Yankee Stadium. Um, I think we've done a great job here. Um, we, I believe, are still, um, you know, doing really well on the testing side. I think that we have largely negatives. You know, I think there's only been one positive since camp started. And uh, I don't think, to my knowledge, that it's spread any further than that, which is great. You know, we're going to take this one day at a time and just continue to try to do the best we can to stay healthy. Thank you, James. James Wagner, you have the next question. Go ahead. James, uh, hope I was well. Two quick questions. Uh, is it hard, like, I mean, uh, coming off the mound, not to, like, fist bump people? I know it's such a usual thing that you guys do uh, when you walk back in the dugout. Uh, yeah, you know, I think it'll be like the elbow tap or the foot tap or, you know, whatever, uh, whatever yeah. else, but, uh, or air high fives, something like that. We'll, we'll think of something, but, uh, you know, it's just kind of the world, we, the world that we live in right now. And a lot of like medical experts say that, you know, people are probably more likely to be infected, say in their community than in coming to the ballpark, given all the restrictions you guys have, how, how hard or easy has it been to like follow all that stuff away from the park? How cautious are you? gone above and beyond, I guess, to make sure that, you know, none of that stuff happens, wear a mask, disinfect things. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I've been wearing a mask everywhere I go, you know, um, when I leave my apartment, I mean, the only places I'm going is the grocery store. You know, I go from the stadium to my apartment to the grocery store and that's it. Um, I'm washing my hands lots, wearing my mask everywhere I go and uh, doing everything I can to give myself the best, best chance at staying healthy. Take another question from Max Goodman. Max, go ahead. Hey, James. Thanks hey. for taking the time. Yeah. We just watched Masahiro Tanaka do a little bit of throwing out on the field exactly one week after he was hit. Uh, what, do you, what have you seen from his recovery and how far he's come after such a scary incident? I mean, it's amazing. He, uh, he seems great. He seems completely normal. Um, I think we got extremely lucky in that situation it could have been way worse and he's bounced back incredibly um i think he's i believe he's already tested out of the concussion protocol i'm, I'm not sure but i think he has um and he, he looks great he's acting normal you know same old moss thanks take another question from marley rivera marley go ahead 
Thanks for taking the time, James. Um, quick question. When you had your surgery back in February, how are you improved like all these months after? What has it helped you do? And what are you still looking for to know that you're 100% healthy, if anything? Um, so like when I was hurt, you know, it was the pain that was going down my left leg um, from my glute down my calf. And I don't have that anymore, which is great. You know, there's no positions that I get in where I feel that pain. Um, so that's, that's awesome. I'm feeling really good, feeling strong. Um, I think the next step for me is finding the velocity. You know, I think I'm not really a guy that gets that velocity in bullpens or anything like that. So that'll be more of a game time thing when the adrenaline starts pumping, it'll be good to see some, uh, you know, mid to high nineties numbers come in there and that'll really show me that I'm hundred percent back. Thank you. Take another question from Bradford Davis, Bradford, go ahead and unmute. Hey James, good to see you again. Uh, just uh, one one thought. Um, you know, you mentioned you know you uh, you know you're back in New York, and obviously like it's a big change to uh, prepare and you know even just live your life. You know, um, during this you know pandemic saturated year, um, what's been like I guess the biggest uh, change in, in just your day to day since uh, you know coming back from New York and you know getting ready for the season. Um. I mean, I mean, I love to go out to, and, and try new restaurants, you know, try different restaurants and stuff like that. Not being able to go out for dinner. I've been cooking a lot more. I've been challenging myself in the kitchen, um, trying to uh, come up with different meals and keep on cooking. So that, that's probably the biggest change for me is just the amount of cooking I'm doing. What's, what's your best dish? Oh, man, I've, uh, I've made some like keto chili a few times. It's, pre it's pretty good. Keto chili? Yeah, right. yeah. No, okay. no beans. It's like two pounds of meat, some bacon and tomatoes and lots of veggies and stuff. That's innovative. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a last question from Dan Martin. Dan, go ahead. You got to unmute, Dan. Got it. Uh, James, uh, opening day is like two weeks away. I mean, do you feel ready to... to like, like you're two weeks away from being able to pitch in a regular game, given how odd this, uh, this setup has been? Well, I better be. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got two more, uh, like, inter-squad sim games. Um, I don't know if you have an exhibition or not before it starts, but either way, um, I'm going to be as ready as I can possibly be. I feel, I feel really good right now, uh, making progress each time out, and uh, we're ready to go get them.